Hey guys, and welcome back to Let It Die. Uh, we are going to be farming Hover Metal today. Also, we're going to be updating you guys on the TDM situation. Um, I don't know what's going on, but I'm super like, I haven't been able to wake up. And I've been drinking coffee, and I'm just in this like weird, like, I think it's allergies. My eyes feel heavy. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me cue, some, cue up some like nice, just chill music. We're just going to be sitting here farming some hover metal. It's more of just a to-do list video. Um, we are going to get back to covering the amazing weapons that you guys have gifted onto me, of course. Uh, but for the time being, I need hover metal um, for really just... This is more of a me video, um, where I'm kind of <laughs> dipping into what I used to be. Um, or what I used to do, more or less. Um, which I want to see what this looks like on my character. I think it's going to look pretty sick. Because I'm a big fan of simplistic, but badass. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Which in this game, doesn't really come up too often. It's always over the moon, or wild, or insane. <laughs> or just doesn't have good stats, and this is kind of, kind of that. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I really want to check this out. And the only thing we are missing is hover metal. Um, also, I'm not sure if I ever made a hover metal farm video. Um, and I'm pretty sure we'll encounter the issue that I still face when farming anything, <laughs> which is going to be a good, good time. Weirdly enough, I don't have the struggle when farming bosses, but I do have the struggle when farming anything else. <laughs> so it's a bit annoying. But anyways, uh, how badly has this been going on? Um, yep, I'm in gold. <laughs> I got was, uh, I was in diamond. And then I got pushed down to platinum. And then I guess I'm at gold now. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, let's see how many people fed off me in the right way. I don't have a lot of money, so I don't think too many people did that. <laughs> but we can see. Um, things have been sent to your rewards box, meaning I can't leave. Great. Uh, two successes and a couple rewards. By the way, guys, I have not played the game in a very good amount of time. <laughs> because Monster Hunter has just been just ripping me apart. Um, and all that. Oh, look at these people. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> this dude, uh, let's see this. So this is the one he won, so he beat all my enemies, or my people, yeah. Beat all of them. Alright, he took my, uh, my Spilithium. Bit of a dick move. <laughs> Bit of a dick move. Um, and then... Oh no, the son of a bitch, uh, what? What's happening? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. Okay. I don't know why he uh, didn't fight them. They weren't particularly strong. I don't know, but he did it. <laughs> he did it, I guess. And then we have people that took two thousand, uh, that much, and that much, and that much, and people who have not uh, done this properly, which is hitting seventy percent. Um, and I can't even look back this far. Maybe in the near future I may make a solid defense because that could be another fun video of like what is a proper defense within the TDM? Not impenetrable because most most things aren't unless you have white steel everything But in that case you can still do things you can still like cut down a forceman gear or whatever Anyways, um, well for everyone who's maybe just checking out this video how to farm um, in order to get hover metal you need to go to well, there's a bunch of different ways. One of the ways is by going to, I think, floor 20, 20 or 27 or something like that. And it, I think it's this one. I think you need to go to this one. Don't do this. <laughs> you need to go to this one, which is floor 26. Um, and you'll enter into, like, this, this koi pond thing. It's fountain. Go near it. Um, three hover tubers will drop. You don't want this, uh, because it ends up taking a qu they're denser up top side uh, to where a gun cannot just instantly kill them, um, and yeah, so you're gonna have to get a better gun or c like coax every one of them, which is gonna be odd. Don't do it this way. Now the reason why that way is even mentioned um, is because there is another way that is a little bit more tedious but far better off for farming. Uh, and it's all the way over here. This right here. This is the place that spawns, I think, five or four uh, tubers, whereas that one only spawns three. The thing is, is that it's a lot to get to. <laughs> you need to go uh, to floor one, to floor two, to floor, I think, three, and then up to here if you don't have it unlocked, the door unlocked, and then up to here. It's a lot of loading screens and the potential to get smacked by a hunter slash hater. So, bit irritating, and yeah, but superior way to farm if you get up topside, and if you die at floor 10, you're not going to be too much in the hole. I think it's like, maybe 10,000 to buy your character back, and this is a decent way to make money, so it's all kind of okay. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, but anyways, let's start. No, we can't. We gotta grab all the crap out of my damned <laughs> thing. Uh, but yeah, the TDM in general, though, is proving to be, like, very... A big thing. <laughs> like, a huge, monumentous thing. Um, in the sense that just participating even, like, once every two weeks... I mean, getting yourself up to at least platinum or something... That, that shows. <laughs> like, you constantly get a ton of money waiting in your bank. Um, if you maintain it just enough to keep yourself in a certain tier, you're going to be getting, like, 9,000 to 5,000 kill coins every time you come back to the game. It's pretty wild. Well, unless you come back to the game every single day. <laughs> in that case, well, maybe not the most <laughs> time. It's funny, because I thought Spilithium was the thing that's like, oh, it's a pain in the ass to attain. I mean, it kind of is, but it's more, uh, it's the easiest thing to attain when you play the TDM. Like, the TDM gives you a stupid amount of Spilithium all the time. So yeah, <laughs> that's where I was a bit wrong. Even though I think you guys might <laughs> have said something along those lines in the past <laughs> at some point. Then again, the TDM was very broken at the start. Like, it was super not, like, no. <laughs> like, I don't want to do it kind of a mentality. Alright, we got a couple guns to make it so that our farming the tubers is a little bit easier. That way we don't have to coax them into, like, drilling the ground and then smacking them. Um, also, we're dealing with like four at once, <laughs> so it can be a bit bad, and yeah. Also, now I have to go make a pizza. Be gone, thought, <laughs> DOD, whatever. And we venture forth. Now, I, for the sake of time, am going to cut this down significantly, <laughs> because it's me just basically jumping and running, and I imagine there'll be some good old times where we're running for our lives, and hell, might even die. <laughs> I don't know. That's the thing about the bottom floors, is that they're, they're significantly more constructed to kill you <laughs> to me in my opinion uh, like there's a few areas on the very top floor that's kind of like that even floors yeah yeah everything from floor 20 and down has like kill you rooms where like you literally are stuck inside with whatever thing is in there with you and typically a hater can spawn that's decked out completely and you literally have no choice of killing him and then you die and that's why people say they hate this game <laughs> it's, it's kind of you know last time we found out that i don't really want <laughs> thor's hammer or thor's staff which apparently runs out of ammunition real soon, and I don't know how I'm going to use it. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> so it was maybe a mistake. Well, we got about 12 points. Would feel wrong not doing this. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Or 12 ammunition slash electricity. What do you want from me? <laughs> Ooh, my precious durability. Or we'll just grab this and use it later. Since we're here, um, I want to ask you guys, what is the one thing that that you want um, Let It Die to have? Because uh, I, I would find that to be an interesting question. Um, and not, not in terms of weapons. We've, ever, we've already went over that. I'm actually extremely interested in seeing what, like, what mechanic you guys would like to be introduced to. Um, I've already told my piece of how I would love, like, a horde mode, like, kind of limbo area. That doesn't play off the fact that uh, when you die in the like horde mode side part of the tower, you don't lose any money from getting your character back, um, but um, you could use death medals to revive yourself just so you can get to the next stage and you get the best loot or better loot. I think it'd be a fun microtransaction thing, but also kind of fair to, if they if, unless they just make it impossible, which of course is not what I'm after. Um, but I've also heard some people say that they want to co-op in the game. Um, there's probably a, a meh, just a bunch of reasons why that uh, is very, uh, at least in my opinion, unlikely of happening. We want blue up, blue up, okay. But yeah, if there was like multiplayer, there, they'd have to make it so that you would have a very low chance of, uh, there's no hover metal that dropped? Well, sorry, they'd have to make it so you could not like drop any weapons for your friends or else that'd kind of break the game, even though <laughs> there's kind of that in the TDM already. All right, <laughs> well. Um, and yeah, stuff just like that, but, I mean, it's fun, the idea of, like, uh, but then again, I think that's in, in the game's charm, not in its charm, but in its thing, like, that, like, sadly, <laughs> I say sadly with a grain of salt, um, Let It Die is focused on being a difficult game rather than a, a farming game, or a MOBA type game, or a whatever, they classify it as a, a roguelike, uh, roguelike shooter? I don't know, they, they, they characterize it as roguelike, like classic old games where you're progressing to the tower and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if I entirely agree. <laughs> I mean, kind of, but with the a company of microtransaction, it feels like that kind of gets shattered. Also, we're just gonna leave. Oh, I'm dead. I'm, I've died? Apparently, I've not died. How have I not died? Yes, purple up is what we want. 
that guy's deaf. <laughs> like we were, we were right on top of him, sprinting. We should have immediately gotten cards. Now I'm not sure if this route is going to work because some of them are locked. <laughs> so you don't want that. And yeah, so we may like get to the elevator and it'd be like, you hadn't, you haven't unlocked it. Go back down. Go the other way. No, I have. Maybe <laughs> we shall see. Okay, no. So we're here. That's awesome. Um, all right, so um, how we do the farm is there are tubers and we're gonna equip a gun um, And we're gonna try to kill the tubers and that's genuinely it. <laughs> it's kind of like yeah not, a, not the most going on there. I'll be honest cool thing is though is because this is a, a two-handed gun. I'm getting the benefits of my two-handed uh, thing <laughs> my decal or whatever um, but there's still the chance that a big powerful hater or hunter can spawn yeah. Yeah. Oh, that could have real easily killed me. Um, I just want to get to this. Yeah, perfect. I just want to get down this elevator <laughs> so that it's easier for me to farm. Also, pretty good rotation to for it for to come back up and farm. Because what you do is you're killing the tubers, resetting the level by going down an elevator and coming back up to said level, and then rinsing repeat. You guys know the jam at this point, but um, yeah, I don't think I ever made this video, and if I did, I was mad. <laughs> I made one where we were farming scratch at the peak of my annoyance <laughs> with haters. Um, and that was at the time when I had no armor to even, to even last. I was a dead man before I even, ah, uh, uh, eviscerated. Put, just, gone but um i do believe that this can actually be a bit of a bastard and spawn the hater in that circle area so we're gonna have to be real careful we could try to kill him but i'm not really with a lucky star character right now so it'll be mostly pointless <laughs> so i'm a bit hesitant to do that um but yes they can all lock on to me it's fine one two three uh oh i heard a girl scream bitch <laughs> at me <laughs> I'm in there! They're all killed. You can make a little bit of money. It's not like wild. <laughs> it's nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, there we go. Now we killed all the hover people and we reset. Sadly, none of them dropped hover mental. Um, I do not believe that the higher the level of the person, the better the chances are. It's random. <laughs> it's random. On a side note, I'm going to go watch Black Panther today. <laughs> Sorry, the coffee. It's the fuck. <laughs> Some days I'm like, iron I just can take it and I'm like nothing and then today I'm like I can't I'm so falling apart right now <laughs> grown ass man <laughs> grown ass man I am I don't know <laughs> and uh, boom missed missed again there we go finally got it another one just trying to be extra careful another one don't want to waste bullets shit I tried to roll but I forgot the button because I hadn't played this game in a while <laughs> oh did he drop oh I thought he dropped it damn it not one of them, you bastards. I mean, maybe it was just the rotation I got on the level when I was fighting, when I was farming hover metal when I just started out. Um, but I kept getting people spawning. Was it here? I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe this, maybe I did just get like the god rotation of this map, and we're not gonna have a hater ever bother us because he's in an entirely different room, which happens to not be able to hear a gunshot uh, through the walls. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, if you could not just instantly shoot me when you see me. Oh, don't shoot. Don't shoot. I do believe you're immortal when you're in the escalator, but I when I had this one time where I was getting into the um, elevator and get to go down, and I was in the animation, and I got killed, and my, everything went, like, black and white, and my character was still, like, doing the animations to get into the, the place, and it was the most confusing. I don't... I didn't count it as a death, <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is your problem? Any? Anything. Not nothing. You guys are the worst. Shit. I'm making a little bit of money. <laughs> it's nothing crazy. Honestly, I think the best way to farm money. I used to be like, hey, the best way to farm kill coins is to like beat these people with the densest armor imaginable. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you do it. No. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not that. What you should do is just farm the TDM. <laughs> just do the TDM for a couple hours, and that's it. <laughs> that's really it. It's not entirely complicated. Also, uh, manageable. Uh, significantly manageable. You don't lose anything. Also, besides weapon durability, uh, maybe armor if you're really trying to like farm the highest stuff you can, but still. But st maybe you guys don't know what I'm talking about. The reason why I say that is because any farming video typically gets random people being like, Who is this guy? 
why is he talking like that? Why is he an asshole? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm trying to help you. And then they're like, fuck you. And I'm like, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Got it. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute, sir. This is actually really great. They can't even get through. This is the best rotation of this thing ever. But, you know, with, with my, uh, with my luck, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Nothing's dropping. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, in actuality, we only need two. But I would prefer more. Shit, I forgot to finish that train of thought. Um, the whole, uh, being able to play with, like, people. Um, again, like I said, Let It Die seems to be very focused into, like, the challenging aspect of it, and... I don't know how they would make that fun. <laughs> like, I feel like it would just put more strain on the game. Be I just don't think it's made for that, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's like certain things I just wouldn't know if they would translate well into that aspect. Um, like, uh, I think you just get pissed off with your friend about how something is so bullshit, you know? <laughs> I finally got one, Hey, I mean, the good thing is this is a very safe farm. Well, that's a lie, <laughs> because it's only safe if you get a good rotation like I have, which sometimes you don't. Yeah, honestly, I thought it would be significantly worse to, like, get to this location. It's pretty fast. <laughs> like, sometimes you get a bigger level. I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> like, I guess maybe they changed something, or maybe I just what, did, didn't remember it properly. But, hey, we got another one. Bam! Um, oh, by the way, uh, to be like completely honest, um, I have done this before, so uh, you guys can see that there's like a little knob right there. Um, so what you'll have to do is instead of just going here, um, right up to here, you'll have to go here uh, to this place, um, and then go up again, and that will get you to that location. So, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to do that. <laughs> Hopefully, you can put that together just by seeing the map and seeing that you can't get to that direction. So you gotta go back up and over. So like, kind of a pause <laughs> on let it die just a little bit. Uh, so you guys know I'm playing Monster Hunter right now, and I've I've just talked immensely about how much I'm enjoying uh, the game, and especially, specifically its way of farming and grinding. I feel like it's like the one game I've played that has the best balanced grind, if that makes any sense. Uh, meaning, like, you, you get, there's like a thousand different ways to get the things you need, um, all of which feel fun and fair, and it doesn't ever feel like it's just there to suck your time out. Um, and there's so many, so much variation between what you want, um, it's not that much color customization, which I'm hoping that they add in a patch. Anyways, um, one of the things that I kind of don't like about the game, though, and the same thing that I'm having with Let It Die at, at some points, and it's the idea that you... Um, oh, whoa, you, you jumped. <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's that, uh, it's basically some armors, I love the way they look. I'm like, same thing in Let It Die. I love the way this one looks. Like, for instance, the Rogue armor set. Um, I love the way this looks. Um, but its stats are just not quite up to what I desire. <laughs> so, um, I'm never going to invest or buy it because its base stats are unchangeable. Um, which is kind of, I always hate it when games do that because to me it's like, uh, yeah, but I want to look that way, if that makes any sense. Like, you put the, the time and effort to customize this really armor set, and I, I hate that you gave it the worst skills on the planet. <laughs> you know, it sucks. Why should I have to be weaker just because I like the way something looks? And Monster Hunter, oh shit. <laughs> and Monster Hunter's a little, little bit less um, because there's these, thing called, there's these things <laughs> called decorations, uh, which you can basically shove a gem into your armor that gives you that armor thing, um, which is nice. Uh, but right now, the one armor that I think looks the most aesthetically pleasing, hopefully I can find a clip of it or an image, boom. Um, it looks just be beyond badass to me. You look like the next generation of Grim Reaper. <laughs> it looks badass. The thing is, is it doesn't really buff a lot of the things that I'm after. Like, my, my favorite build in the game is Blast. Um, and I guess I could get the one thing and farm for a decoration of Blast, but the decoration for Blast is a pretty hard thing to find. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Also, one of the armors has just a badass look to it. Um, there's like two equivalents. There's one with the shroud, and then there's one without the shroud. Um, and the one with the shroud looks awesome. Shroud being like the cloth that's just kind of draping off of it, makes it look Grim Reaper-esque. Oh, <laughs> it looks awesome. But sadly, 
uh, there are two different armor types, if that makes any sense. So there's there's one set of armor that looks generally the same, um, except there's two sets. One set has um, abilities put onto it, and then the other set has less abilities, but you can apply more decorations. So you can basically customize it more, but you need the decorations to customize it. So it's either like, hey, you can get this boost of power that's going to be embedded onto the armor from the get-go, but less decorations, or you can have this thing that starts off at less, but maybe in the end gives you more and it's like Urgh. that's actually kind of cool but the armor is slightly changed like I said like one of them has like the shroud and then the other has um, just the metal plating um, and I'm like god damn it the one that has more decorations doesn't have the shroud and I'm like motherfucker I love the look of the shroud <laughs> it's amazing but yeah I am that's my new go for monster hunter is, is getting that and it's well, it, it's the one character that drops it isn't particularly impossible to kill. It's like one of the elite dragons, <laughs> but he's not impossible. Although he's annoying, and he's very much like he basically puts a status effect into the air, um, that like makes you have no health, and you have to eat a thing, a, a mushroom, to like kill it, um, and to get your health back essentially. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's like because he knocks down your health so quickly with this one attack If he gets one hit on you whilst you're trying to like fix yourself and not paying attention you're dead <laughs> you're dead um, And I imagine it wouldn't be that much of a problem if you had Like a, a couple people there with you farming Which I might do that actually yeah, I might do that today and be like hey guys on discord and be like hey guys <laughs> Do you want to help me kill this fucking? Weird looking creature. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> That'd be lovely. But right now, uh, we're farming <laughs> for a hover metal. Um, yeah, we just got one. Nice. Um, that would be really cool, but it'll never happen. If there was some like decal that gave you a better percentage drop um, for resources, like things like maybe tuber metal or tuber harvester or something, I don't know. Um, it'll never happen. And if it does, I'll be a little, <laughs> a little bit worried. Because typically in Let It Die, when some things get... Like, for me, I, what I would think would happen is there'd be a decal that buffs drops from uh, certain tubers, but at the same time, they would uh, decrease the amount that they drop in general, so that you'd kind of... It's up by 25%, um, but that's also because it's dropped a little bit. Stuff like that, I think, happens in Let It Die, like... Uh, uh, which I don't blame them. It, like, again, the whole thing about Let It Die is it's supposed to be a challenging game, uh, but... Uh, I don't know. I feel like there's in some cases. It's better to be reasonable. I guess um, not just Hold the cat the catalyst of being difficult. No, I think it's a gimmick. I don't know. I don't know man That's kind of hard to hard to explain I guess now. Um, I think I may just let someone kill me <laughs> um, And I think it's like 9,000 to buy back your fighter just so it's easier to get back down um, Although I could just run it <laughs> and see if I live and if I die lower floors and I'll just it'll still be cheaper than dying right here at the ninth floor or the 10th floor meaning I might as well just do like a suicide run with no armor to the bottom which I believe I can do well you know haters hit for a hard <laughs> a hard number so yeah um, but guys uh, yes uh, so we just go back down to the bottom you take the spoils of your harvest death harvest whatever it is <laughs> um, you take the spoils of your of your kill and boom bam you have hover metal um, now you can do this on certain days I should have mentioned that <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yes, uh, so not always will this rotation of the tower barbs be a thing. Yeah, <laughs> so Yeah, <laughs> hopefully you guys luck out and that happens um, you get this rotation to have um, have it spawn Monday is the day where I'm currently filming this uh, So it is up for sure then unless it's not <laughs> what I think it is Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching as always subscribe button above me two videos to my right. I'm gonna keep farming. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and goodbye